Hey yo, welcome back to the Menadu channel. If you're new here, my name's Ollie and I'm a field recorder and sound designer. And in this video, I'm taking some samples I recorded with my grand's old Sony dictaphone and using them to help create this beat. I headed out to a local beach, mainly because it was sunny but also to record some sounds. It was quite busy at the beach, but I managed to sample up some trains passing by, train horns and beach waves, almost getting soaked in the process. While I was recording with the dictaphone, I also set up my Tascam X8 to get a comparison. As you can imagine, it was pretty night and day, but that wasn't the point. This is a lo-fi beat, it needs to be lo-fi, so we're gonna stick with the cassette. I hadn't really recorded enough source, so when I got home, I headed out into the garden to see if I could find any more bits to sample. By this point, it was dark, and I ended up stepping in bird poo, which was a pleasant surprise. So I gave up on that and headed indoors to the kitchen to see if I could do some more sound sourcing. Like a trash collecting magpie, I brought all my shiny finds into my room where I sampled them up. <gasps> to get the sounds off of the dictaphone, I plugged in a 3.5mm jack and sent the headphone out of the dictaphone straight into my DAW. In this case, it's Cubase. Then I edited it up and realized quite a few of the sounds were a bit rub. So I reached out to a friend who makes sample packs to see if he could help me rescue this video. Sam creates awesome sample packs and he sent me one of his newest ones called Bedroom Soul One. I've left a link in the description to his Instagram page and some other links. Show Sam some love as his work is sick. With Bedroom Soul One open, I began checking out the samples and chopping some up till I had a solid melody. Then I created a drum beat and played around with some of the effects to give it that lo-fi grit. One of the effects I used most on this project was Tape Mellow by Archeria. I'll put a link in the description, but I got it when there was a freebie day, so watch out for those because you can get some little gems. Then I started adding in the dictaphone recordings to give the beat some character and flavour. This is mainly what I was after with the field recordings and samples. Some authentic lo-fi cassette tape nuggetness. The warpy wow and flutter from the cassette and the slightly jankiness really aided the lo-fi aesthetic. Anyway, the clicks in the kitchenware sounded sick as percussive elements. I used them as snares, hi-hats and shakers adding in subtle effects to the sounds like reverbs and delays. The big wood snap, the one where I smacked the dictaphone, worked well as a snare layer. For the riser kind of section thing, I used a train pass by. The natural whoosh Doppler sound from the train helped aid the transition with the cymbals. I wanted to add in the crashing sea wave splash sample at some point in the track, the bit where we recorded down at the beach. Then it dawned on me that it would be perfect for that lo-fi beat noisy crackly bed. You know when you're listening to a cassette tape or a vinyl and you get that crackle? That's what I was going for. I added the vinyl effect, some compression and bit crushed it a bit, then blended it low in the mix. There was still an element missing in the vibe of the track. I decided that I was going to record some plucked acoustic guitar for a final layer. Setting the dictaphone on my desk, pointing roughly at the 12th fret, I recorded some plucks whilst listening to the beat. Then I took some of the plucks and chopped them up a bit more, making it seem more like a sample I got from a track, not something that I just recorded. I added an FX channel to each of the guitar takes and popped Guitar Rig 6 on both of them. Then I browsed through some of the presets and chose some that fitted the vibe. Finally, I did a little bit of a mix and made a basic beginning and end to the track, and that's where I got to. So this is my favourite bit, I like the transition into the high plucks.
I hope you enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun making this. A big thanks to Sam for sending over his sample pack. I've left some more info in the description below and links to his Instagram and bits and bobs like that. I'd love to know if it's inspired you to pop outside and go and record some samples for yourself. I really like using a lot of found samples from outside and recording some of my own samples for my own music. I feel like it adds a layer of like personality to it. Recording samples yourself, no one else will have those samples, so it's sort of more personal to you. That's how I feel about it anyway. I have an EP called Aberration on Spotify and I'll put it up on screen now. I use a lot of field recording bits and bobs for that EP and the first song from the EP is playing right now. If you have any suggestions for any more content that you'd like to see here on the Menadu channel, drop a comment below saying what you fancy seeing. I've seen a couple of you mention some suggestions in my previous clicker video, uh, the sound design one with the weird alien sound. So I might dive into some more like weird sound effect stuff. Be free to drop me a like and subscribe because I really appreciate it and it helps build up my YouTube channel a little bit more. I post a lot on my Instagram and my TikTok account like shorts and different bits and bobs like reels and other stuff like that. So pop over to there and give me a follow if you want to keep up with what I've been doing. Other than that, cheers for watching and in a bit.